Hello guys, I hope your uh, Spring Boot journey is uh, going well and today I will be telling you how to uh, connect your Spring Boot project to a Postgre database which you may have already done but using your uh, local uh, local machines uh, Postgre, uh, Postgre SQL database from your PG admin. Today I will tell you a very good cloud service which is for free. You don't need to uh, use uh, give your credit card uh, details to AWS or Google Cloud. You just simply uh, need to follow these steps and you will uh, easily be able to host a PostgreSQL table over the cloud. And you could use this platform to access other kinds of database as well. So moving forward, this is how you basically uh, the looks of the this is basically the looks of the application dot properties when you uh, connect it to your local uh, PostgreSQL database. Okay, now I will tell you how to uh, uh, host a PostgreSQL database on cloud and use it in your projects. For me, um, the cloud service or to any like MongoDB's cloud or anything doesn't work on my college Wi-Fi. So I'll first switch to my personal Wi-Fi. Okay, so you don't need to do this. I'll just simply switch to my personal Wi-Fi and uh, maybe my college Wi-Fi is blocked by that particular cloud service, nothing else. So simply I will just go to a new browser tab and search for AI, AI win. So I will drop the link below. So I'll just log out and show you how it looks. So you can, um, after logging out, you can simply uh, log in with your uh, e sign up with your uh, Gmail or GitHub or Microsoft account. So I will just use my uh, Google sign in. So which will automatically take me to the console. Okay. So uh, as it says that I am already signed up. So I will just go back and use my email. And it will get me to the uh, console here. As you could see, I have created one MySQL service as well as Postgre service as well. So all you need to do is to click on create service and you, you can see there are different types of databases here. Okay. So you, you can uh, make a Redis NoSQL database as well. Now, uh, for now we need one Postgre service. So we will do that and you can select the free plan with uh, the location uh, closest to your uh, closest to your uh, current location and you can go uh, go so i have been using singapore although i could just realize i could have used the bangalore as well so bangalore location as well now simply i will just uh, go and uh, select my plan and create a free service so now what happened here is that i have already got a, a service created for this so that's why it's not allowing me to do it again. So basically after that you will get this thing here. Now if you open this, you will get all the information to connect to your uh, Spring Boot application. Now all you need to do is to click on this quick connect button. Now after that select this connect with option to Java. You will get automatically get the uh, JDBC uh, uh, URL here. So simply so JDBC stands for Java database connection URI. So you can just simply use this and come here and uh, copy this to your uh, spring.database.url part and uh, simply use the username or you can go back to the portal and use the username and password from here. But uh, it's here in the URL as well. So you can use from here as well. and password also that's all you need to do so after that if i go to my main application and click on start you will be able to see 
that uh, a Postgres CRUD application has been started. So this is was the name of my application. So let's see whether the uh, queries work or not. So simply as you could see in my controllers library, I have created a few queries to like uh, create an employee, get employee by ID or get all the employees. So first we will create some employees and add them. So I will simply just, I've already created some uh, post requests here. So simply all you need to do is if I go to post, so my backend is learn, running on localhost 1880 and this is my URI, URL endpoint for this uh, particular uh, API call. So I will simply just say localhost 8080 slash API slash employees, which is, which I only specified here. Okay. And uh, here I am sending a post request, adding a employee. So if I click on send, Okay, so I think I already uh, added them. So I will just uh, type a different name. Because I added a no, I added a unique property to it. Okay. So as you could see, the status says 201 created and my uh, user has been given to so check whether the users have been given or not. You can simply put the get request and I will check whether all my employees are being fetched from the database or not. So if I give the get request to fetch all my employees and uh, mark sent, so you will see all the employees are here. Okay. And if I try to get an employee by the ID also, you will be able to see that I am able to get it. So that's how easy it is to host a PostgreSQL server on cloud and connect it to your application uh, where you have been using your local PostgreSQL. Now you will be able to use a PostgreSQL database, which is on cloud, which will help you after you have uh, deployed this application. Okay. So that's all. I hope this video helped and thank you for watching.